What's up guys? Today we're going to be testing a, I'm not going to say a new round, but it's just now coming out on the market, especially with all this COVID stuff. Winchester USA Ready 9mm Plus P, 124 grain. It's a new design, kind of looks like uh, the Critical Duty and Critical Defense line, but a little bit different. Uh, it is a 124 grain bullet on the table on the packaging at the muzzle, 1200 feet per second, 396 foot pounds of energy. Product number is Red 9 HP for hollow point, I can only assume. So today we're going to be testing this through 10% ordnance gel from Clear Ballistics. It is certified 10% straight from the factory. We're going to be running it through a layer of t-shirt material with a layer of fleece just to make it a little bit more realistic. We're going to be running it through a Glock 43 3.39 inch barrel. Glock 19, 4.02 inch barrel, and a Glock 17, 4.49 inch barrel, I believe. We're also gonna be testing velocities with the Pro Chrono DLX. We're gonna do a five shot average first, and then we'll also measure it when it goes into the gel. So let's go and get started. First shot's gonna be from the Glock 17 at 10 foot. Second five shots gonna be from the Glock 19 at 10 feet. Third set of five shots is gonna be from the Glock 43 at 10 feet. Now we're going to be shooting the round through our three firearms, Glock 17, 19, and 43. Again, we have 10% ordnance shell from Clear Ballistics, one layer of fleece material, and one layer of cotton material to kind of be a little bit realistic. With each shot, we have the Pro Chrono at the very front of the gel. That way we have an accurate reading on impact. So let's go ahead and get shooting. First shot is going to be the Glock 17 with a 4.49 inch barrel at 10 feet. Second shot is going to be the Glock 19, 4.02 inch barrel at 10 feet. Third shot is going to be Glock 43, 3.39 inch barrel at 10 feet. Let's take a look at the results. Upon entering the gel block, each and every one of them about half an inch in rapidly started to expand dumping the hex vents which is what prevents it from clogging with heavy clothing or other materials starts dumping them in about two inches all the way down to about three three and a half come all the way down here to where it starts to streamline glock 17 and 19 looks like the 17 came all the way down to about 13 13 and a quarter bounced back to about 12 and a half inches the 19 looked like it came all the way down to about 14 and three quarter, maybe 15. Bounced all the way back to about 13. I'm gonna say about 12, three quarter inches. Glock 43 on the other side of the block, it stopped at about 14 and a quarter. Looks like it came all the way back down to 16 inches. Then of course it bounced back all the way to about 14 and a quarter. So let's go ahead and take out these uh, projectiles, do some weighing and measuring. 